All right, guys, welcome back to another episode with Seth Fishing. Uh, today, we're going to be going to Arroyo City with Captain George once again. And we're going to be using one of its new products coming out tomorrow, which is going to be just like the uh, sticker says here. It's going to be Mr. Ballyhoo Bites. I'm going to let him talk a little bit about this right now. But uh, our goal today is to get out there before the cold front comes in, before the crazy wind comes in, and uh, get some redfish on the boat. And so he's, I'm going to let George talk about the uh, crab flavored scents, the original flavored scents, everything that goes into making this product and talk to you a little bit about how it works, why it works, pricing, why you should buy it and things like this. If you've seen some of the other videos that me and him have done, you're, you'll notice that a lot of the times I'm grabbing something out of a canister. And this is exactly what I've been grabbing. But we've been testing it out before we started promoting it out there or he started promoting it out there. So in the last three or four videos that I've made uh, with Mr. Ballyhoo, you, there, you're gonna see this canister in, in the video all the time. So I'm gonna let, let him talk about it so that way you guys can get more insight on it. So with that being said, let's get to Mr. Ballyhoo. How are you guys doing out there? Well, like just like we'll say, we're gonna go out to Arroyo City. We're gonna go ahead and uh, target some reds. That's what we're really after here. We're introducing to you guys our new product, which is the Mr. Ballyhoo Bites. Basically what it is, the ballyhoo itself but instead of you having to cut it it's already pre-cut to the size that I use the one that how I like to use it myself these ballyhoos here are IQF that means they're individually quick frozen you can have it out there all day long nothing's gonna happen to it it's already cut to the size that I I like them which is about an inch just run your your circle hook or your you hook right through the top and you'll be good. It's already pre-soaked with the original Ballyhoo oil, and uh, which is this one right here. And uh, <clears throat> from there, you guys have the option to you know, try out different ones. You can spray it with a crab, or you can spray it, I like the garlic and or the anise myself, right here. This is the anise. They're all natural bait oils, guys. So in no way, shape, or form are we polluting our waters. Just want to make that clear. But basically this right here will hold us a good 30 pieces, which is about eight of those ballyhoo right there. This three people can easily fish a good four to five hours. Of course, it depends if there's not too many catfish or little bait fish, you know, just tearing it apart. Very good container. You can go ahead and uh, just close it up. Put it in the back of your kayak or you know anywhere around your boat. The best part about it is you don't finish it. All you gotta do is just close it up, stick it in your freezer, and you're done. Some of the some of the pros that I've seen by using this guys is that a lot of people, number one, they don't know how to cut the bait or what size to cut the bait. So this is already pre-cut. A lot of people don't like, including myself. Is I don't like to have a bag of bait uh, sitting in the back of my truck or in the back seat or anything like that. It's really messy and it stinks up your vehicle if you forget it, which I have in the past. So by having it in a sealed container, it's also going to be cleaner for you for your vehicle. You're not going to make a mess. You don't have to worry about cutting it, what size to cut it, where to hook it or anything like that because it's a real simple hook method. It's right through the top middle. And for you to use it, your kids to use it, your family to use, anybody can use this bait without having to worry about cutting it or cutting themselves or anything like that. Today we're going out there and in the past we're, we've gone out there and we've only used about half of this with three people. Um, so typically on a normal day, whenever you finish using this, you're gonna come back with this much left over. So a lot of times you'll catch two or three reds on one piece because it's durable. It's not mushy, it's not like a, your typical frozen bait or anything like that and that's the reason why it costs what it costs and it's also pre-scented so you don't have to worry about buying one of these original ones and scenting it yourself it's already pre-scented but once you're going to cast it out there redfish or trout sometimes they're eating more on crab sometimes they're eating more on on mullet things like that and that's when you want to have the garlic or the crab flavored scent to be able to spray that on there so you can take have the advantage of catching those fish don't forget come back over here 
Get your fish fry. Yeah, fish fry, that's the best part. That's the best part right here. That way you can cook your, uh, cook your catch, you know. Nice little reed. I love you. I love you. I wish they could talk, fool, because then he tell me he loves me. Look, I love him. Pablo, try some reed? No. No, he came back and messed with it, but he didn't take it. Almost had it. Almost doesn't count, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna get it for you. You gonna get it for me? Yeah. Okay. One redfish coming up, George. You didn't have it, dude. Oh, he's on there. It's a catfish. Oh, it's a redfish. The little one. It's a little baby. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's two within like 10 minutes. Yeah. They're not the keepers, but it's fish. Okay. Right, little redfish. Hey, you got your own camera over there? <laughs> Leave my camera alone. Leave camera alone? <laughs> calm down, Papa, calm down. Hey, but I got two reds on, on the same piece of bait. Uh -huh. I was. And you still got the bait. See that? Is it on crab? They're hitting crab, and that's what I've been putting on there. Yeah. Crab juice. I, got, I, think, I think I was using garlic. Oh, I saw that. I saw what you did on that video. Oh, <laughs> I saw you Oh, there you go. That's a good one right there. You gotta talk to the camera, Joe. Juan. Juan? You gotta talk to the camera. <laughs> oh. I, I, I got a I got a red, but I don't know how big it is. It, it feels bigger than the other. Ah, <laughs> este está grande, Jorge. Este está grande, bro. Let's look at it. You sure? Yes, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's pulling really, really. You know what? Ah man, I. Man, it's a catfish. I'll just small it away. <laughs> it's pulling hard though. Ah no, si está chavalón. He's been hitting gold gym. It's a, it's oh, a, that's bigger one, no? It's a, no, it's not a size. They're here. They're here, guys. They're here. They're not the size, but they're here. Those are the kids because they're in school. Oh, that's the thing. It's not four o'clock yet. School hasn't yes. been out yet. Now, when the parents come and pick them up, that's when it's going to get good. <laughs> You got something already? Lower the, the radio a little bit, George, please. It's tailing over there. I got something. I, I'm not sure what it is, but it's heavy. Uh -oh. But I did say it was heavy before, and it was a peak squeak. <laughs> uh, the drag was real loose earlier, though. Yeah. 
might be onto something here. I think so. He's running to the, he's running around the bus. And if you have to. Yeah. To, because it's going that way. Yeah, walk to the other side. I need to get my line out so I can get his. Yeah. So I can get him. You, you got him on camera there? No, the camera's not looking at him. You got to turn it around. You got it. I'll turn it around. Uh, no, no, no. Point it out. Point it out. Point it out. Don't let him go into the engine. Ah. Oh, he did. Yeah, it's in the engine for him. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, right? He's running like a good one. Is what you wanted? Oh, oh yes! Oh, that's a nice one. Yes! <laughs> oh. Hey, Juan, let me tell you something. Okay. This is an awesome one, Nita. That's a big old red. It's a good 24. Oh, don't 25. let it bang like that. One. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 24, 20. Oh, that's like 26. 26? 26. 26. 26. 26. Easy. 26 inches. Did it give you a run for your money? Yes, but see that? Yeah. Look at those dots. Nice. Back out there again, bro. Eh, Juan, you look stressed out. <laughs> 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 that's not the the type of uh, reaction I expected. <laughs> One, two, five and a quarter? Oh, I'm almost 26. I almost had it. Yeah. <laughs> take it, take it. There it is. <laughs> it's a red. I don't know if it's big though. It was like a 20. At least like a 21. It was eating really weird. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, I don't know if he's a, he's a oh, keeper, it's man. A, it's, a red, all right. it's a red. I just don't know if he's a keeper, but it's my first red. I'm gonna it might. Yeah, it, it, I think that'll go. You think so? Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah, the other ones were smaller than that. He was eating really weird. You saw that? My rod tip. Oh, he's got. He's on again. Come on. Dang! Every time we bring somebody. Somebody with us, George, they outfish us. If it's either him or my dad. Nope. They always outfish us. <laughs> now this guy's right at 18 and a half. Damn. First of the redfish though. Oh, look at that. Another bro. big boy? Man, you're getting all the big ones. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's no, gotta no, be no, no. No, don't move the rod, move the rod, move the rod, move the rod forward. Pick it up, pick it up. That way, push it that way, that way. Pull the rod that way. No puedo, Jorge. Es que ya no puedo, ya no puedo, ya no puedo. ¿Cómo no? That's a good one. No, no, no. That's a good 28. Tw no, that's, that's an overslot. Oh, oh, you missed it, George. Come on, Juan. You gotta come on, get buddy. Come gotta, on, come you on. You can do this. Out. You got to get him in the net, Juan. There you go. Oh, missed it. There you go. Nice. You got to show that on the camera. God, Holy oh, yes, God. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. That was funny. Y'all want to see why he was uh, complaining so much? <laughs> I wasn't, Mira nada más. I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining. What size was yours? That one was like a 19 and a half. Oh. This one's got to be like a 28. I haven't got a big one, but I have a feeling I'm about to. They're here. They're here. Nice. About 27. Perfect size. Me da risa Juan with the fan. That's, that, that's exciting and it's fun to watch. I like it. I like watching it. Yeah, Juan, you're gonna, they're going to make you into a meme. You're going to be a meme. Pobre exotic está bien pobre, ¿ah? Sí. Y dijo, uh, lift the rod tip up. No puedo. <laughs> Fishing. It's gonna be like freaking. There it is. There it is. There it is. Finally. That's a good one. Oh, come here.
Just put the net there and I'll bring them to you right now. Huh? Okay. Oh, that's a good size, bro. Come on. Come on, Vip. Come on. There you go. That's a very good Yes. Yeah, Finally, yes. keeper. There yes. you go. Yes. Hell yeah. He can put it down. <laughs> Finally got a slot red. This guy's going to be a good size, too. On Mr. Ballyhue Bites, the new product launching tomorrow. Oh, let's see if I can. <clears throat> yeah, hell yeah. Look let's, at that. Let's measure them real quick. Yeah, 23 and a half, almost Beautiful. 24. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect size redfish right there, guys. You see it? Yeah, you can see it. Nice. He ran pretty good, and uh, we've been using Mr. Ballyhue Bites, which is, we're going to talk about this later on, so you guys can get you some at RGB Bait Masters, but that woke me up. I needed that. I was already getting tired. Usually, I, like like this is usually what we're fishing in when we've came out and we've got reds. It's about this speed, yeah. wind. Yeah. Oh, this one's bad. This one's good. Oh yeah, this one's bigger. <laughs> oh, that's a good size too. Yeah, this, this is full drag out. It's like 25. <sighs> He's still green, huh? Yeah. And he was messing with it on the way in. I don't know, he said, I don't know where he's at. Got him? Woo! And I was gonna take a break again. I was like, yeah, let's take a break. I'll let George catch one. <laughs> oh, that might be a bull. Nah, I don't think so. Maybe, I don't know. Check it out, fellas. This is the other one we just got right now. Yeah, um, Miss Valley Hue Bites. That was like, what, five minutes after my other one? Yeah. Real quick. Hell yeah. Let's measure them right now when we unhook them. <laughs> I want some in the face. Guys, you can pick these up over there at uh, RGB Baitmasters. Wonderful. All stainless steel. You're already selling them? Uh, they're coming in. Oh, they're coming they should in. be in here tomorrow uh, tomorrow or Monday. Hell yeah. It's a, bad, it's a badass tool. 26 and a quarter. 26 and a quarter on this little fat girl. It's got to be a girl because it ain't croaking. Either, either way, she's uh, she's dinner to me. These help a lot. Guys, I think we should start thinking about heading back. Yeah, it's getting bad already. That wind is starting to kick up a little bit more. Yep. We got enough footage. All right, guys, we're going to start heading back because the winds are picking up. It's probably like, it feels like 27 miles per hour now. It's supposed to be like 50 or something, 50 miles per hour. So we're going to start heading back already. We'll see you guys at the ramp. Right if I stay today Is it alright if I stay today Take 
Guys, it was a very interesting night, uh, afternoon. We're out there, right before the cold front came in, dead, 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 dead. As soon as that cold front came in, right before, about half an hour before it came in, it started hitting. The fish bites worked out pretty good, didn't they? Ballyhoo bites. Yeah, the ballyhoo bites. <laughs> Sorry, I said fish bites. Yeah, they're not fish bites. It's even better than fish bites. That's right. But yeah, we started off uh, earlier, and then the bite was kind of slow. I know Juan. Uh, he uh, he's the one that caught the most fish, but the biggest fish on the boat today. And um, we were using we were using Mr. Valley bites uh, throughout the whole day. So we're going to talk about that. Or you should have already seen the intro, which is going to which talked about it. And the new product, things like that's going to come out later on for, uh, tomorrow. He should be selling it. I know he sold one already today, and it hasn't even came out yet. But tomorrow he's going to be selling it. And uh, you guys can go to RGBB Master and pick some up for yourself. And then as the wind picked up, just like as George said, the bite picked up and I got my two reds within like 10 minutes. Uh, but then the wind picked up really, really bad uh, to about 30 miles per hour. So we started heading back. So it's kind of rough. It, it got really, really rough. See you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys.